Hey, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this really pretty peppermint candy cane nail design that is multi-dimensional and is just a really gorgeous look. Let's get started. So first I'm starting with clean groomed nails. I've pushed back my cuticles, I've filed them, I've buffed them, and I've washed my hands. Because we're working with gel, I recommend giving the surface of your nail one more soft buff just so that the gel polish has something to adhere to. And I'm also going to be using a dehydrator because my nails are on the border of oily. And this just is another thing to help the gel stick. Next, I'll be applying a gel base coat. And this is one that I I've had for a while but I haven't had the chance to use and I tried it for this one and I really really like it the brush on it is super unique it's super stubby and short and the gel kind of pulls up on the wand but if you just you know are mindful of that and scrape off that excess on the wand it's actually really great I find that it's great for scrubbing the nail with the base coat which I've had better results with it kind of keeps me mindful of using a thin coat of gel base so I really like it and then I just just cured that in my LED lamp. Next, I'll go into my color gel and I'm using this dark red color. So this one, I actually don't have a lot of like red gel polishes. This is one of the two that I do have and it works a little bit better for this. Um, you can use any shade, really, it doesn't matter. This one's kind of weird, so I, I <laughs> professionals out there help me when I apply this um, it's one of those that just moves really fast like I have to cure it after one nail or else the polish kind of pulls to the center but on the second coat of this I don't have that problem so I don't really know what that's about it didn't affect it I just kind of had to work quicker if you're slow at applying gel I do recommend doing one nail at a time and at least flash curing which just means put your nail under the LED lamp for like 10 to 15 seconds just to keep that gel from moving until you can do a full cure. So I did two coats of that gel polish and I cured between layers. So to make the red part of this design really cool and multi-dimensional, I'll be using a foil. And you can get these anywhere. I got them from weknowshop.com. So to apply them, I cut off a little piece from the strip and then I just stuck it to the nail. The nail has to be sticky, so this wouldn't work if you're using an all-in-one gel polish that dries without that sticky layer. Um, and sometimes some gels dry too sticky. I've had that happen and like these didn't adhere right, but this one dried just right, so it worked. And um, I didn't do this any rhyme or reason. I just spotted it on all over the nail and I did this to all 10 nails. And then after that, I applied a layer of no wipe top coat gel and I let that cure. To make the white stripes on the accent nails for candy canes, I'll be using a stamping plate because it's gonna make my life easier. You can totally freehand white stripes on, but if you have the chance to do it perfectly, why not take it? So I'm using a stamping plate from Moyu London and I just applied a white stamping polish, scraped off the excess, rolled my stamper across, and then picked that up on the stamper. And then you can just transfer it to the nail. I do recommend using a fast drying nail polish to do the stamping if you don't have a stamping polish because you wanna make sure this is fully dry before you apply the gel top coat after. I used a toothpick to just scrape off any of the extra bits around the nail and then I dipped my cleanup brush into some acetone and went around the edge of the nail even more to just perfect the shape and make it look really nice. Then after that, I applied a layer of the No Wipe Top Coat Gel and I cured it and that's it. I love this nail design. I'm actually still wearing it uh, at the moment. And I think it's just so cool. It looks really good in all lights, except <laughs> the foil I used doesn't look super good in cloudy overcast lighting. I don't know why, it still looks good. It just doesn't look as good as it does in harsh lighting. As always, if you guys decide to give this look a try, I would love to see a picture of it and you can just share it with me on Instagram at Julie.